Here's what you can expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. I have rtmain opened up, and that's pictured here. Let's go ahead and run this. This is a server that runs on your academic Rio device. And the communication style is through UDP messages or datagrams. Here's PC main running on your uh, PC computer. And this is the client for the server. Let's go ahead and run. And you'll need to make sure that the server IP address is properly selected from the list of available server IP addresses, and that's listed over here. I'll take the one that's associated with the USB LAN, and then make sure you choose the same port number as the listening port for the server. Each time you click one of these Boolean switches, you send a new UDP message to the server. Here you can see the entire contents of that message and then it's also reflected in what was received by the server. The buttons control the state of the onboard LEDs. Here we see the message that's returned from the client back, or returned from the server back to the client. And part of that information involves the onboard button state. So I'll, I'll press the button, try generating a new request. We see the button state is enabled. I'll let go of the button, click the uh, control to generate another message, and then the returned response from the server indicates that the button has now been released. You can also press the auto send button, and now a message is generated periodically. This makes it easier to try experiments like press and, receive, press and release the button, try moving the device around if you have an onboard accelerometer, and then you can see the values change there.